hey guys welcome to a new video it's been a minute since i came on here and i've missed you guys so much i don't even know how to start because it's been so difficult for me filming this first video after a long time because i've not been online you guys know if you've been following me if you're subscribed and all of that you know i have been putting out content on here and that's just because life has been lifing and i was just basically trying to figure everything out before starting to put out content and i didn't realize i was setting myself up for failure because you really don't get to figure everything out and yeah so when i came to that realization i was like let me just go ahead and do this okay so here i am trying to ease myself back into content creation this video is not it's not like it's not a life update video as you can tell by the title it's a chit chat video sort of just easing myself back into content creation because I sort of forgot how to create content and the longer I stayed out of content creation, the longer I stayed without creating content, the harder it was for me to start back, the more excuses I gave myself. So yeah guys, let's get into the whole chit chat, okay? <laughs> Of you who don't know me who are seeing me on your screens for the first time my name is stephanie dingena i am a cameroonian currently based in the uae and i create content on natural hair lifestyle and travel if that's your vibe please 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 click on the red subscribe button down below and the notification bell as well so you get notified each time i upload a new video and if you are returning subscriber i really just want to take out this time to appreciate each and every one of you guys who have been subscribed with me here from day one whatever day you subscribed and just have stayed subscribed to this point in time to this moment i'm just really grateful for you guys and i really appreciate you i don't take it for granted i'm so grateful for for the for the love you guys show me and the support okay guys <laughs> i have been trying to get a job since i got here like this is the reality of things if unfortunately this could kill someone i'll be dead by now buried and forgotten because the amount of unfortunately i got i did not know that i could receive that much rejection in such a short period of time having to like wake up to emails of unfortunately when you put on when you put in all your efforts the worst is when you actually go to the, for the interviews like you really go to these far far locations like it's really distant locations you spend like two hours traveling to go to a location for interviews and you come home and like three weeks later they send you and unfortunately that that, that one <laughs> that one just breaks you just stabilizes you so i was going through that and it was hard so i came in with a th on a three months visa and i knew that within three months i should have gotten a job i didn't and i had to renew and renew again so i was like this is money i'm spending this is time and effort i'm putting in and i'm still not getting a job and i came in during this period where african countries were banned so it also explains why i couldn't get a job easy, uh, more easily because at this point in time companies were very skeptical about hiring africans because first of all they could hire you and your visa and your work visa gets denied and they would have spent their money for nothing fast forward to like f five months later i realized that this job search was taking a lot longer and i was spending a lot more money so i asked for help from my aunts and uncles and they came through and helped me get a begin the process of getting a freelance visa and i'm currently in the process of doing that guys that whole process was a roller coaster and when you when your visa is about to expire you're just having all sorts of thoughts so right now i'm a bit more at peace uh in my head and in my <laughs> in my spirit because at least i know that i'm staying here legally and my documents are being made and processed and all of that that's basically the long and short of the hectic part of my transition into this new country i put on weight guys i weighed my heaviest i could not believe that i weighed that much when i climbed on the scale guys i weighed 92 that's the heaviest i've ever been this is me going close to 100 kg like what what's happening i just had to calm down that's when i realized i needed to enroll myself in a gym and i enrolled in my first gym here at time of enrollment i didn't know that here 
there are gyms for men specifically and gyms for women specifically so i just looked for any gym and enrolled and it was so uncomfortable being in that gym because it was a men's gym and i had no idea like actually when i was enrolling they told me this is a men's gym uh, but you can come but women come women we take women but women come in the morning between 6 and 7 30. i was like okay fine i'm going to come to, because i was not i was not seeing any like women gyms advertised anyway i wasn't seeing any billboards or any signs to show me that there are women gyms i'll just see gym 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 and i'll go to everywhere and there are men gyms so i just picked the closest gym to my house and i enrolled but guys it was so uncomfortable being in a men only gym because now i was the only woman in that gym i'm like what the other woman <laughs> and it was so uncomfortable and plus the fact that like i have to wake up at 6 a.m every morning and then i can only work for one work out for one hour 30 minutes and then if i get to the gym by like 6 30 to 7 i only have that specific amount of time between the 6 30 or 7 to 7 30 so i could i did not maximize my time out of that gym so i stopped going i didn't enroll a, a second time and then i just didn't go to any gym anymore because i wanted to go to a female only gym if i had to go to a gym so last month i enrolled again in a gym and i'm currently going and it's a female gym and i'm really loving it there's a great community of african women too who are not just african we also have like other nationalities but the, the majority of them are africans we have this group where we're ch checking on each other making sure we are trying to get our weight loss goals and it's really really good so yeah that's it about my whole fitness and wellness journey since i got here moving forward guys i realized i'm lactose intolerant and this was something that i i did not even think was possible for me because how i've been consuming milk since i was born i consumed milk my highest in boarding school and milk is something that i used to eat dry so how come my body has decided that it cannot digest lactose anymore i, I could not even put peace like i found it uh, i found it really difficult as accepting this after like realizing that every time i consume milk my stomach will bloat and i'll and i'll be feeling like really uncomfortable having digestion and all of that so anyways i have grown to accept that i am lactose intolerant because even when i consume yogurt i have the same thing on like even sometimes greek yogurt even does a bit of bloating to me and i saw that greek yogurt you're not supposed to um greek yogurt is not like it's, it's lactose intolerant friendly oh i also realized that i haven't told you guys about my living situation yet. i don't know if i have no i don't think i have so um, since you'll be seeing more vlogs hopefully fingers crossed um i actually live in a shared apartment we have like bedrooms and like the occupants the people in the different bedrooms i occupy one of the bedrooms and i've just made a small living area and my bed is over that way you guys not see it right now but you guys see it in subscribe vlogs basically so that's my living arrangement we have a shared kitchen that's the only shared space everyone has uh, their bedrooms and bathrooms in that room so the only shared space here is the kitchen hopefully this video goes up and i'm so grateful for you guys thank you so much for watching up to this point i don't know what i've been talking about but i've not been talking for a long time and i've just been babbling about a lot of things hope you liked it hope i really hope you did hope it wasn't boring hope yeah just give it a thumbs up to let me know if you liked it yeah <laughs> and comment down below tell me how you've been what you've been up to just let me know you guys are still alive in the comment section basically thank you so much for watching this video and see you guys in my next one bye <laughs>